All right, we are back right where we left off. Um, so last time, basically when we had just started, uh, we helped sort of console a bunch of undead, newly undead folks. Lily and Voss ran off, uh, and we have to go find her now, I'd imagine. But before we ended this uh, episode last time, we picked up a quest where we had to go talk to Executor Aaron. Or Aaron? Aaron? Aaron Aaron? I don't know. Anyways... <laughs> Enough jibber jabbering about. Let us continue. It's actually a little bit away down the road here. But nothing that we can't handle. No enemies along the way, after all. Alright, what do you have to say, Aaron? What is it? What do we have here? A new rogue. Ready for battle, eh? Sure. First of all, look at your armor. You're a mess, rogue. Oh, well, yeah, well, you're kind of a mess yourself, okay? <laughs> if you'd like to stay in one piece, and I've no doubt that you do, perhaps I can help. If you can gather some paws and wings from the wolves and bats nearby, maybe I'll make some armor for you. You'll find the creatures to the north and to the west of here. All right. Will do. And this is the only quest we have available to us right now. We have to kill four of each. Actually, we have to gather those items, but I'm pretty sure they have a 100% drop rate uh, off of these low-level mobs, so. I'm not even using our finisher does, like, no damage. <laughs> oh, it'll still help speed things up regardless. We need to grab some professions, too. I'm not sure what I want to take on this guy. If we're going to be self-sufficient, maybe like skinning and leatherworking or something. Since we're not going to be using heirlooms, those uh, low-level items that might actually be useful to us. Anyways, let's get him out of the grass here so we can see what we're doing. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of these because I think you get the idea. Okay. And uh, since last video, I forgot to... Um, I didn't realize that I'd gotten another um, bag, which expands my inventory by six slots, which is pretty useful. I've also adjusted these panels here so that the right panel is just basically all the loot I get, and then the left panel is chat and whatnot. I also left my bag open like a derp the entire time. I guess just because I got used to seeing that little black box down there. I didn't really pay attention to it. Do try your best to keep yourself unharmed until I get you some armor. And there's the items for you. Thank you. This armor should help you out. Ooh, a belt. Okay. Hopefully it should do you more good than the last one to wear. Oh, so you... You just you just took my stuff. You had this belt sitting around. What a jerk. Old leather belt. Well, we don't have a belt right now, so... It's better than nothing. One of our greatest struggles is obtaining the natural resources we need to survive. Gold was scarce in Lordaeron, even in the height of the Alliance power so many years ago. There is a gold mine to the west that has been overrun with spiders. We need gold from the mine, but we can't very well get in while the spiders are crawling around in there. I have not much manpower to commit the task, so we'll just have to do it little by little. Get up there and see what you can do for us, Rizotis. Alright, killing spiders. It's what I always wanted to do. So we just have to go northwest a little bit and we'll be in the area. I'm not sure if that's just a... Actually, I guess it is a large rat and a very small bat. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Well, I mean, I guess, relatively speaking, that's actually a pretty big bat. Assuming that... This is like six feet tall or whatever. I don't know. 
Alright, here's some spoders for us to kill. So we have to kill a bunch of these little guys. And then I believe... Yeah, the Nightweb Spiders. They're sort of bigger, aggressive enemies that uh, we have to kill inside the cave itself. I'm just going to kill a couple of these. I'm not going to worry about getting all eight, because we can... On our way back, we can kill a few more. So I'm just going to kill maybe half of them, and then go inside the cave. Righteous, level four. Don't get anything from it, but we do gain stealth at level five, which will be uh, pretty nice uh, once we get there. And I just swapped the um, the poison icon for the uh, sort of the poison tab. So as we get more poisons, they'll appear in this list rather than placing each individual one on the hot bar separately. So just sort of future proofing it. This one actually went down pretty quick. Nice. I just want to get to level 10 so I can change my specialization to... Well, I'm going to be Outlaw. Because Outlaw in, in the... Well, it's basically just a renamed combat spec, but it's it's my favorite rogue spe specialization. And thematically, it's pretty cool, too. Alright. Now these big black spiders are the other kind we need to kill. Only need to kill five of them, though. But they are actually... Wait, are these ones not aggressive? No, they used to be aggressive. But now they're... they're yellow. I don't think there's anything we have to actually do in here besides kill these spiders. But I'll, uh, I'll fast forward through this. Because it's a cave, and caves can be kind of cool. Even though some of them are just kind of copy-pasted. Like, this is a very common cave layout in WoW. But at least all the spiders are really close to each other, so it won't take long. Alright, just one more after this guy. I hope you guys are enjoying the more sort of um, the narrative approach that I'm taking for the game. Uh, just because well, I don't see much like sort of leveling up videos in WoW in general, and those that I that I have seen are just kind of rushing through it. And so I think I mean it like leveling up in an MMO isn't like the most fun thing ever either to play or to watch. So I think focusing on the story uh, is pretty much the way to do it. <laughs> but with that being said, let's go on and zoom through these guys. There we go. Um, yeah, I just moved my, my tooltip location to sort of just above that right box there, just because since we're going to have loot in this box, I don't want it to be getting overlapped. So we can always see this box, except when we have our inventory up, which I mean, we could move anywhere we wanted to, but I like keeping it in the corner. All right, sorry, I just have to hustle our way back. I don't remember if there's a reward for this quest or not. Besides, I mean, just experience and money, obviously. Could use some weapon upgrades for sure. Just still have these puny little kneecappers. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. What, what would you call a puny knife? Like, if this were a gun, it would be like a pea shooter, basically. Speak quickly. Butter knife? Yeah, there we go. Puny little butter knives. Alright, well, it's a start. It'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean out the infestation. After that, we'll have to go down there with some torches to burn away the webbing. I pity the man who has to do that. You've done your duty well. Hey, we got some pants. Zombie skin leggings. No stats, but what additional armor. 
While you were inside that cave, your big friend, Darnell, came by with some alarming news. Since the Valkyr arrived, we've seen more and more undead that choose not to join or that chose not to join our forces under the banner of the Dark Lady. They've been gathering at a small camp here in the valley, and now they've organized forces. They plan to attack Deathnell, Rogue. Darnell is just down the road to the east. Be careful. While those undead aren't completely brainless, they're still not quite right in the head. There's something not quite right with that boy. Alright, let's equip our new pantaloons. Looking pretty sweet. Now we have a matching shirt, belt, and pants. Nothing spectacular, but it's better than the starting gear. Alright, here's Darnell. There's Otis. You made it. Hell yeah. See those tents up there? That's where we're headed. The battle's probably already started. Oh, we get a dagger. Sweet. And some mana restoring things, which don't matter for us. Alright. Oh wait, we actually get the dagger. Wait. Did we just get it? Yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, while you were taking care of matters for exec Executor Aaron, I went off on an assignment of my own. Shadow Priest Service asked me to peek in the Rot Brain camp. There's a reason why they're called Rot Brains. Their leader goes by the name of Marshall Redpath, and he's an absolute beast. Oh, that was one of the guys we talked to. He wanted to fight us. <laughs> Look, uh, the attack is starting. You're better in combat than I am. Get in there and help out. When you're done, meet up with the Shadow Priest Service in the chapel. Good luck, Rezotis. Thank you. Okay, well, this will give us a slight damage boost. We'll equip it in our main hand because that'll give us the uh, most damage overall. So, uh, now we have... Well, I guess they're both kind of butter knives, but one's yellow and one's green. But the upgrade is the green one. <laughs> Alright, so just over the hill and up by these tents in the distance. We have to kill Redpath and eight of his little cronies. Well, phasing. I'm sure they'll phase it in just a second, but they just... Oh, maybe not. It's kind of weird. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag. Or, not lag, but uh, sort of freezing. Who am I? I don't know. Who are you? And now we're starting to get into aggressive enemies, which will actually just attack us if we get too close to them. Hey, look at this berserker who has like eight dudes attacking him. Or her, I guess. Let me just come in and dispatch him. These guys suck at their job. They even have like a axes and stuff. Alright, there's Red Path, so let's kill the Magus right here first, and then we'll take him on. He does have quite a bit more health than his cronies do, but we should be fine. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm not sure why I'm freezing up like that sometimes. Fortunately, it's just momentary. I guess I'll just keep chasing us even when he's spinning. So this guy actually kind of hurts. Oh, that red screen glow though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mom up. Get our health back. Alright. So five more of these dudes. Get out of here. All right. Now back to where we do go to Darnell. No, we go all the way back to Death Knell. Okay.
that's a bit of a hike. So, uh, more fast forwarding. Back into the chapel we go. Sarvis, what do you have for me? Being born again under the power of a Valkyr is a strenuous... Pro oh. Is that... Well, I can't tell if that's something we've read before or not. They really like talking about their... Uh, their resurrection process not being easy. <laughs> oh, I guess that was new. Others retain just enough humanity to seem normal on the outside. But they're sick inside. We should have slain those rob brains the day they were raised. As for you, you're a strong rogue. I knew you'd do well. You'll be headed out of Death Knell soon. Yeah, so you've told me. Victory he pulls out a piece of paper from his robes. These will need to be taken to my field agent, Death Guard Simmer. This information contains the whereabouts of the last few holdouts from the Scarlet Crusade. We will destroy these crusaders once and for all, and I have a feeling that you'll be instrumental in that effort, Rhizotis. Take the road north out of Death Knell. Soon after entering Tears Fall proper, you'll see a large manse. Simmers inside. Alright. Oh man. Uh, Darnell did a lot of talking there. It's not going to go over at all. <laughs> Apparently they made him a death guard, though. Uh, can we see him, or is, did he like come in here and talk to me and leave? It looks like all the death guards here are just wounded, just kneeling. Oh well. Good for him, I guess. What's this orc doing here? He looks lost. I mean, even without heirlooms, though, he's like one shotting everything. Rogues, please. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is going to be quite a long walk. So, I guess I'll fast forward some more. There's been a lot of fast forwarding this episode. And here is Tears Fall Glades. Uh, it's pretty pretty much the same thematically as the area we were just in, Death Knell. Um, but with a little bit stronger enemies and a few more friendly NPCs, like this uh, abomination here. <laughs> also starting to see the flags of the uh, Forsaken here. Or specifically Lordaeron, I guess. Anyways, here's Simmer. What would you ask? And we're just about to level up, too, so this should get us the level. Yes? What do you want? Oh, give me this letter. Yes, this is very good. You've done well in obtaining this information, Rhizotis. Hmm. Names of the Scarlet Crusade officers in the Terrace Fall Glades. Imagine how... Imagine the blow we could deal to the morale of those bloody zealots if we were to kill their leaders in one swift strike. I will pass this information forward. Yeah, just make sure that my name gets mentioned. <laughs> Sweet level up. Level 5 gives us stealth. It'll be very useful. Humans are notoriously fickle creatures. The farmers to the west are no exception. Sure, they may be plowing their fields peacefully now, but tomorrow they may be raising their scythes against us. The alliance looms close by in Gilneas, and the power of Stormwind looms to the south. Any of these could recruit the tillers and use them as a wedge against us want them dead. See to it that it's done. Well, that seems a little bit brutal, but, you know, will of the Forsaken be done, right? Uh, that's our old dagger. We need to sell off some of this stuff, but we'll grab this quest while we're here. What is it? From Apothecary Johan. What have we here? You look like a fledgling rogue. If you hope to prove yourself to the Dark Lady, you need to learn the ways of the Forsaken. To the west you'll find a farm. Hey, that's where we're going anyways. What a coincidence. Humans infest the land like a mold of, on a rotting corpse. And worse yet, the Scarlet Crusade patrols nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. 
Ooh, those bumpkins will sure tell them. Once you have ten, bring them back to me. Alright. For the Forsaken. Is there anything else up here? Oh, yes, there is. This dude has a dope hat and shirt. Alright. <laughs> what do you require? You work hard your whole life, and what do you get? Killed by a plague. Then you work even harder and on death, and what do you get? Money. Uh, yes, and a small estate with a few pesky hangers on, or a few pesky hangers on. But happiness? Not so much. I'm lonely in my old age, Rizotis. I need a companion. Use this leash on one of the murlocs at the Whispering Shore to the northwest. You have to weaken it first before it can be leashed. Then, bring it back to me. Alright, whatever you say, boss. Trust no one. I won't judge you. We're all into some weird shit. <laughs> Alright, but I think that's going to do it for the episode today, guys. Thank you. Oh, that was rude. Gordo. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, as always. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.